Does the word fire have one syllable or two? Fire. Fire. Far. Fire. So as of this recording, I am shooting this on January 16, 2023. Uh, a few weeks ago, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, I got a text message from my friend Tony Peppers the day after Christmas, basically. And, uh, you know, he said, Merry Christmas, Robert, go check your mailbox. You know, he, he was referring to my, you know, the actual physical mailbox, you know, the one out on the curb in front of my house. Uh, so I went out there and sure enough, I found this guy in the inside of it. And we are, of course, talking about the Pepper's Pedals Dirty Tree. Uh, this is a boost pedal as opposed to an overdrive pedal, but uh, this is the catch me out for boosting, you know, like bottom end heavy high gain amplifiers, such as this here Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier. Now, unfortunately, I do not own a Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier, so I, uh, I borrowed this one from uh, my friend Dean Klein. And this one is a, uh, this is the current version. This is what uh, what the purists are referring to, the multi-watt version. If you were to buy a brand new dual rectifier here today uh, on the market, this is the version you're gonna get. Uh, this one has been unmodified, no modifications to it whatsoever, except for, I think, it, you know, he may have painted the grill plate or something on the front of it, I don't know, something like that. But uh, electronically, nothing has been modified. This is, uh, you know, this is basically straight out of the box. So we are going to see just exactly what the hype is behind this here Dirty Tree boost pedal. Now, you may also notice that I have a tube screamer set up here on top of it as well. Uh, you know, when you zoom, I'll zoom in a little bit closer here as we're, uh, as we're, we're turning some knobs, but uh, I've got it set on the TS9 mode just so we can compare it back to back or side by side rather with the Dirty Tree uh, as a uh, TS9 style tube screamer is also a pedal commonly used to boost the front end of invasive dual rectifier and who knows maybe we'll maybe we'll run the same experiment through another amp or two along the way and uh just put it through its paces because this thing's supposed to be kick-ass on that note again this was a gift to me that i was not expecting from tony peppers uh so one that i am very very grateful for that said there was never any agreement up front between myself and Tony Peppers or Peppers Pedals uh, for me to do this video. Uh, you know, no money was exchanged or anything like that. Every opinion that you're about to hear in this video is mine and mine alone as I'm under no obligation from anybody to state otherwise. So let's see what this thing is about. All three channels on this Mesa Dual Rectifier are currently set in the 50 watt setting, going straight into my two notes captor, into my interface, into Studio One with a impulse response of a Mesa Boogie oversized 412 cabinet on the back end. This entire rig is known to be pretty flubby from the top down. So, you know, flub on top of flub on top of flub. Let's see if the dirty tree gets rid of that.
plug i recommend to you stormtroopers of death otherwise known as sod and their album speak english or die this is a punk slash thrash metal band from the mid 80s that uh, was kind of a side project uh slash precursor kind of deal to anthrax uh it features scott ian and uh, charlie benante from anthrax and uh when you listen to it it sounds a lot like mid 80s style anthrax Killer Record, this was a side project that Scott Ian and Charlie Benante put together with uh, another with another well-known thrash metal musician uh, from the New York area at that time by the name of Billy Milano. If you're not familiar with Billy Milano, he's, uh, done a, he's, he's been in a bunch of other uh, underground bands. The most notable is probably another band called M.O.D. I wore this album out when I was a kid and I just rediscovered it. This is a cool record. Links to the Pepper Spell Dirty Tree and all other gear used in this video will, of course, be down in the description. Don't forget to do the YouTube thing down below. Hit like, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Robert, signing off.